This week's multiple choice Monday is about enthalpy changes really and activation energy. And even if you didn't get the correct answer, what hopefully you would have happened is you would realize that two of these answers are immediately eliminated for having negative values. Because my activation energy, you can look at it as the minimum energy for a reaction to take place. Uh, or you can also look at it as the energy needed to break bonds in the reactants. Whichever way you look at it, activation energy is always going to be an endothermic process of energy being put in. So it will always have a positive value. So I've got it down to C and D. And the best way to visualize why it is C is to draw an enthalpy profile, especially because you need to be able to do one of these anyway. So for an exothermic reaction, and we know it's exothermic because it says delta H is minus 100 kilojoules per mole. So I'm going to draw my reactants and my products. And I know that that value there is minus 100. I'm also given a value for the activation energy. So we're quite used to drawing a profile like this. And what that tells me, I haven't done this particularly well to scale, is the activation energy is the energy from the, where the reactants start to the highest point in the reaction. And so that value is equal to 150. I haven't drawn that very well. There we go. So we've got 150. We've got 100. Now, if we imagine we're going the opposite way, so this is talking about the reverse reaction, we're going from P to R. The activation energy, we're going to keep the same explanation. It is from the reactants, which is P, and it is going to the highest point. The bonds broken will be the same as the bonds that were made. Uh, in the forward reaction. And so the activation energy from P to R is from this level to this level. And you should be able to see that the value of that is 250 kilojoules per mole. And that it is going to be a positive value because you are going up. Activation energy is always an endothermic change. Okay, so if you want some help, particularly with delta H energy changes, especially if you're in year 13 and you're really also looking to get to grips with maybe Born Harbor cycles uh, and delta G, I've got two classes on the 28th of May. One is the first year Hess cycles, bond enthalpies and experiments. And the second one is your lattice enthalpy and entropy workshop. And don't forget, there are plenty more, especially for energetics. There's a whole section of questions which have videos explaining them on my website. And of course, you can just follow me on Instagram so that you get more tips and revision materials.